find some sort of company where they could make money somehow for Magia. So yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the way it works in WordPress, for example, this being another free uh, open source uh, uh, package, is, is some people don't know how to use it specifically, or they want to have a person who knows uh, how to use it or to operate to explain it to people. So some people will offer courses in these things, and some people will be uh, hired for their skills or maybe to develop a plugin or something. So loads of plugins will be, in fact, developed for a very specific purpose. Maybe with a client is specifically paying to implement a certain functionality, then it becomes free software. And this is how software can grow with the community being part of the kind of the business. Uh, and uh, when, of course, they have other things that they can offer, like, uh, you know, hosting and, uh, you know, uh, so, so that's kind of like a cloud model or uh, yeah. something. So, so there are ways to, to, to make uh, good free software to, uh, Maybe not make big money. I'm not talking about six-figure wages or something, but but make money uh, and actually doing something you contribute to, which will be preserved uh, from the point of view of free software. It will preserve as free, so you will always be able to access your work, to link your work, to show your work, to share your work, and even in the future, just look back. Yeah, and that, yeah, work. that's that's different. Yeah, there are different ways to make money. I mean, I I never wrote, wrote or write proprietary software so for me when I think of something that I do and I think I wrote something like this before I don't have to think well did I write this thing before in a proprietary fashion in a way that's supposedly you know licensed for somebody else it's just I wrote the code I own the code and I can use it again if I want to uh, and all the code that I've seen and actually integrating with that free software as well so even if I come across something that Implements a certain functionality. I can just use that because it's 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 free and freedom, uh, and that, that's a really nice freedom to have to know that everything you see and use and contribute, that's truly portable, free. You can move it around as long as you preserve the same freedom. Uh, some developers don't have this freedom, like they see something at work which does something really nice, but the code is proprietary, so they couldn't do anything with it. They just they can they can view that, but they cannot touch it. You know, it's not theirs, and and that's just from a developer's point of view. Yeah, but we'll, you, right? you you see things, but it's it's a bit like creating a story or watching a film, and at the end of the film, they say, "Well, dear audience, please do not share the storyline with your friends, and please do not speak about it, and don't speak about the moral of the story, and don't speak this and that." Be like, you know, this is a tr trade secret of sorts. So, you know, what's the point of going to the film if you cannot talk to people about it or learn something from it and use the conclusions? So. You know, that, that's just uh, a bit um, comparing perhaps plots and code and uh, and uh, you know storylines to uh, to an algorithm. But I think I think some people will agree that the notion of writing code and writing poetry and things is is, is kind of analogous in some ways. What I was going to say is, uh, I mean, yeah, obviously all the, all these projects they need money. You know, you, all this software. You know, we live in this. Capitalism, yeah, you know, money, consumer, yeah, consumerism, capitalism. I, I, I think, that, yeah, what, what's so, so uh, you, all you know, you, today, I think you get kind of entangled in the uh, trying not to be associated with the uh, uh, criticism, but I think we have to separate between many things here. So there is the uh, there is separation between things like you know greed and uh, consumerism, you know, excessive consumerism, yeah, and yeah. consumption, which is kind of a different way of putting the same thing, and then capitalism and that it's extreme capitalism and profit motive and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I think in the point of view of Magia, it's not really supposed to be like, it's probably not going to make any of the developers like a millionaire, but no. they do something they enjoy, and I think it develop, it contributes to the, uh, the, for, the kind of the workforce of the, uh, of the fossil world. So, so, you know, yeah, yeah but what I was going to say is, uh, uh, there's all these different ways to make money for open source or free software. I mean, I'm thinking of Wine here, and they have Wine itself is given away as as open source, but they also have co uh, yeah, co Code Weavers, which is their like sponsor company, and then you know the commercial version, and people buy that, oh. and, then, and then the money, some of that money is supposed to go into Wine as well. Or sure, but like commercial. Group. Well, commercial implies you, you probably couldn't use the rest of it in a commercial environment, but actually you could do that. Um, I'm tempted to say proprietary because I do think they package it in such a way so you wouldn't be able to use it for free. But but you know they still get most of like almost everything for free. So 
I uh, yeah. I wouldn't say com- I I just wouldn't say commercial. I would just say it's it's kind of a place. Well, yeah, it, Code Weaver is proprietary, really, but it's. Uh, I would just uh, but they, are, they are helping the wine products. Yeah, so I, I would just say paid basically. version. I would just say a paid version, not a commercial version. I, I'm just sensitive to it when I work with clients and you say to them free and they think it's free as in cheap. Uh, and then you say something like a commercial something and they think, oh, commercial, well, it's not commercial. Yeah, that, that reminds me of what I was going to say. Like, yeah, oh, is is Apache is Apache commercial? And it's like, yeah, it's used commercially by Sony, by... Well, Sony does not do anything in Apache, but that's a different story, because they had all this trouble with, with uh, crackers uh, a few months back. But, uh, but you know, it's used by commercial companies, it's used for commercial websites, it's used for commercial everything. Uh, the thing about these things is that they might not be extremely profitable. Even Red Hat sells loads of licenses and support contracts and who knows what else, but, but Red Hat doesn't make a lot of money when it sells these. It doesn't actually sell you a hardware appliance or doesn't directly sell you a hardware appliance. It might be Dell selling them. Uh, so so unlike Apple, it doesn't count the sales, you know, a computer with the screen and with all kinds of stuff on it. Uh, and additionally, the uh, Microsoft has the advantage of like selling really expensive Windows licenses. So with the, they can count sales of things like uh, Windows Server. Uh, based on revenue, it seems like they do pretty well, but but you know, if it's expensive, then and if you only count money and the actual number of instances that are running and actually using your software, you're just measuring the wrong thing, in my opinion. So that's Com- right. Uh, yeah, commercial and well, distribution is quite simple, really. We have two types: we have commercial distributions and community distributions. So Ubuntu, Mandriva, uh, are yeah, Ubuntu and Mandriva, for example, they are commercial distributions. Because they have they have for profit companies behind them, mm-hmm. and, then, and then we've got the community distribution Debian, uh, Magia. What about Fedora? PC Linux OS Fedora. Fedora. That great. is that is a community distribution, but yeah, but some but, of the but of course it's got Red Hat for. as its big sponsor. And that, yes, and, and some are, of the uh, some of the community has been paid by Red Hat. I yeah. just look on It's some of those things. Don't 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 argue with them. It causes unrest if you. Just point out, hey, you know, by the way, some of your contributors, you know, they're being paid a full wage by Red Hat, so it's kind of like people who make decisions here are not exactly. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not, what, I mean, it is a community distribution, but I suppose, like I say, Nigeria is a one, 100% community distribution, yes. because everyone is a volunteer, right? We can't really sell it back to Dora, can we? If they've if they, if they got paid employees from Red Hat and so on. Yeah, this is very. You, they, 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 they don't like talking about it because it's uncomfortable to talk to talk about. It's very funny. Like I, I find in a community, we we cannot say certain things without like coming across as being abrasive or something. Yeah. Or like they, they're very sensitive on trying like say, oh, well, you you must be a troll because we don't like what you're saying and 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 you, I I. I my personal view in many of those distros that the word community just basically means this is the absorption of uh, uh, volunteer effort. So the company will set up something that's called a community something and maybe put some nice pictures of community and people hugging and, you know, guy without a shirt on, girls with all of this, these uh, thingies. And you're supposed to think, oh, community, and kind of join in. And, but basically what they're trying to do is to grow the user base for the company called Canonical or a uh, company called Red Hat. Yeah, uh, and they also try to get people to fix bugs for them. And, uh, yeah, that's what. Uh, that's what uh, but you're not supposed. But you're not supposed to say that. Like, like you're, you, they don't. They don't want you to talk about it because it discourages the volunteers from doing that. Uh, um, let's take. Let's just take a bunch of a uh, sample. Polly, what you're trying to say, kind of. Um, I mean. Yes, it's commercial distribution, but then it has its community, the Ubuntu community members, and then here's the thing, not John Bacon, he's a Chronicle employee, I'm, just, I'm using him as an example because, yeah. Yeah, anyway, you know he, Microsoft. Yeah, he's a Chronicle uh, employee, but at the same time, he's also an Ubuntu community member, it's like, what? How can he be both? How can he be a paid well, no, no, employee? He's, he's, and paid, he's paid to help manage the community, which is fair enough, because they want oh, yeah. the person who spends all his time trying to keep peop- people in check and trying to make be nice to people and Make sure people keep civil. So yeah, yeah. just run around with the open source, open no, it's called open respect one, and kind of tell everyone, you know, I'm such a, you know, be be respectful. I think she's a bit hypocritical because given what he did before, but 
but uh, but you know, uh, <laughs> I, I I like John Lee. Yeah, well, I've come across with him. He's yeah, he's, he's very. That, nice. That's why that's why he's a good uh, good in the community. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, 